Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 212A, it's the Tier 9 Soviet SPG. It's located on the north spawn of Pearl River and it's under the command of Yabas of Olymp. Well, Yabas was made famous today because a video uh, by Klaus Kellerman featured one of his battles. The one we featured on the channel only a few days ago where he played the Object 261, which he'd only just had for a short while, and he managed to get an ace tanker almost immediately. This one is the 212A, of course, and this is the Tier 9, the one before the Object 261, and he was well practiced in this one, working his way up to get the Object 261. But let's see how he gets on in this battle. Okay, well, there's an enemy tank inside the Hawk 30. But he's lining up the shot because the guy's on the move and he's trying to go quite quick. Actually, this Nomad makes a much better target. Okay, he's trying to get a shot. Rounds out. Oh, there's lots of tanks there. Oh my gummy hit two tanks at the same time. An object, um, a Type 63 and a Nomad. And he's now relocating to avoid counter battery. Now he's got the 203B4 howitzer. 203 millimeters, 900 alpha, 52 millimeters of pin, and you could just briefly see there it's got 52 millimeters, yeah, 10.4 meters on the burst radius. Now he has got an enemy tank in sight over on the heavy tank alley, rounds out just behind the tiger mouse, but he did stun him. Oh my gummy, got a huge amount of stun assist off that one. The guy got hit almost immediately, so he missed out on a bit of stun assist because it looks like the Tiger Mouse used his first aid kit and at that moment the, uh, the stun stopped, but he still picked up 760 stun assist off that one shot alone. He's now trying to get the Sheridan who's inside the village. Difficult shot, rounds out. No, it hits the, it hits the roof. Yeah, when you've got a roof like that, Okay, he's now trying to stop his teammates from advancing on the hash barn because we might be able to get around in there that will make it easier for them. Oh dear, the Type 68 just got wiped out by the enemy RT. It's an FV3805 and a GWE100. Okay, he's trying to get a shot on those guys but lost sight of them. The FV4005 has gone around the other way. Okay, line it up. That's it. Direct hit! Wipe out! 514 hit points and the hitch barn is no more. So that was a good shot. He actually timed that one. In fact, his teammate in the other RT, it appeared that he managed to uh, get something in there, or somebody did at the very least. There's a batch at 155.58 on our team as well. And I think that, oh, that SMB's in a lot of trouble now. Wait for it, rounds out, hits him. That was a good hit for 238, and our sharp U204 goes through and kills him. Now, we're only one up on the enemy at the moment. We seem to be doing rather well in certain areas of the map. The enemy might have the village, and we've just been spotted. Okay, and it might be that air mix 1390. Now, the RT, the enemy RT, is probably going to try and have a go at us, so he's decided to change position. Now, that 1390 is on the way in. There he is. Can we get a shot? Yes, we probably can. Rounds out. Yes! Got 389. I think the the batch at 155.58 is also firing in the same direction. Our AMX 13105 is sending in, going in to try and stop him before he gets any closer. You can see he's actually trying to run away. In fact, he fell off the cliff and he lost some hit points when he did that. So he's now even weaker, and the AMX 13105 should have no problem getting him. But we're looking at that Nomad inside the village. A Chrysler, we can't get a shot at him. In fact, by going off the edge there ourselves, we've actually kind of restricted our, our paths, our fields of fire. But we do have a, a field of fire on the pattern tank lined up. Just let it settle a little. That's about right. Rouse out. It splashed right next door to the pattern that tracked him on both tracks. And we picked up 
249 hit points. But we've got two tanks nearby, the MX-13-105, who's actually coming in behind that guy, and the MX-13-90, and they're both... Well, <laughs> this is going to be... Uh, close your eyes, children. This is going to be rather unfortunate for the pattern. Yeah. We're almost loaded ourselves. Raz out. Ow! Yes, that was terminal. And the 13... Uh, <laughs> the pattern tank was completely eradicated. Now, it might not be a good idea to go out from behind here because the uh, um, the enemy RT is the last two enemy vehicles still in the game. I say it might not be a good idea to go out from behind here, actually. I think we can, actually. But it all depends on where that RT's gone. As I said, it's a GW E900 and a FV3805. And they've been spotted. And one of them's gone, the FV3805. Now, can we get a shot on the GW? You need to back up a bit in order to do that. But he has been spotted. There he is. And yes, we have got a shot. Rounds out. Long range shot. Lands right next door to it for 150. We got the sun assist. And the game is over. Well, that was a fast and furious gain, and it was also a first-class tanker to Yarbas of Olymp in the 212A. He also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got nine, and he got a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. At least six tanks subsequently taken out by other teammates. And that uh, is including the fact that he got two kills in that game. The FV4005, the Heshbarn, and also the Patton tank as well. His win 8, 2,496, which is Unicum standard. Let's have a look at team score. Well, he didn't get the highest damage in the game. That went to the Hori 3 on his team with 3,815. But sadly, that wasn't enough to get 20% of the enemy hit point, and therefore there's no high caliber. Second highest damage went to the 60 TP with 3,203 hit points. And the third highest damage, well, that went to the Heshbarn on the enemy team, who got off enough shots to actually pick up 2,581 hit points. But uh, yes, unfortunately, he met a shell coming the other way from Yarbas, and that was the end of his game, and he was out. Yarbas actually got fourth position in his team on damage, but he was beaten by two players on the enemy team, so he's actually in sixth place when it comes to damage overall. When it came to kills, though, we can see that the highest scorer is the Hori 3 with four kills. Three kills went to the 60 TP. Two kills went to the Car Re on our own team and also to Yarbas and also to the FB4005 on the enemy team. And the AMX 13105 got two kills as well. And when it came to base XP, he's top of the table with 935 base experience points. 924 went to the Car Re who also picked up a Pascucci's medal for killing both enemy artists, and 842 went to the Hori 3. He fired only nine rounds in that game. That's very good value because, of course, normally you'd expect to get between 11 and 13 rounds if you wanted something like a first class, but he did hit some targets, which then yielded the full amount of their hit points in stun assist. So it did help that he put the shells in the right place. He got four direct hits on the enemy, one penetrating shot, 11 splash. Now, I suspect the penetrating shot was actually the hash bomb, but let's have a check. Yes, it was. 514 hit points from that shot alone. He actually hit the turret, went straight through, wiped out the tank completely. If we go back to the details, we can see he got 11 splash as well. 2,224 hit points of damage of which 1,805 were at more than 300 meters. And I suspect the Patton tank was one of those that he uh, managed to stun uh, or hit at close range. And the other one was the AMX 1390. He damaged eight of the enemy, killed two, and he did 1,827 hit points of stun assist off nine stuns. So combined damage is about 4K altogether. He earned 27,878 credits profit, and he picked up 2,103 experience points. Now, yes, he is now actually roaming the battlefield with an Object 261, and as seeing as he's already got an ace tanker out of that, he is now twice as deadly as he was before. So, yes, in fact, I've actually got another video featuring 
uh, Yarbas in uh, another different RT that he's been playing. Um, so you might want to stick around and watch that one and see how he handles that. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a little like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little com comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And please remember, we're trying to raise funds for uh, the GoFundMe to help uh, uh, Edveen of uh, Awesome Epic Guys. He's got a bit of a problem with his house at the moment. He needs to raise some money to pay off a debt on, uh, that's owed to his former girlfriend. And any amount that you can send, even a couple of quid, will be grateful um, for. And, of course, we're sending the proceeds from the channel. So by watching this video, you are actually helping Edvin. And we're going to help him some more as well as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.